What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Lyman Football and today's video is going to be the full review on the Under Armour Fierce All-Purpose Gloves. Okay, so to start off, I got these gloves from eastbay.com. They will be linked in the description down below. Now, regular price on there, they are $49.99, but actually on, they are on sale when I'm filming this for $45. So definitely if you want them, go take advantage of that little discount you're getting. Now I wish there was a lot more color options available for these gloves. Uh, for some reason there's just not a lot out there. Uh, the ones they have are the uh, white instead of red, they are black. They have all black as well. And then of course the white and red that I'm wearing right now. So only three colorways, there's no blues, greens, anything like that. Okay, so now these gloves are considered all purpose. So as far as their category, they're competing against the uh, Nike Superbad series as well as the uh, Cutters Gamer series. So um, if you want to compare, don't forget to check those out. But they're considered all-purpose basically because they have the grip on the inside of the gloves. This is the Under Armour Grab Tack grip. And on the outside, they have their padding. Okay, so to start, I'm going to give you a very, very brief, quick tour of the glove. So to start on the inside, obviously, we have the Under Armour, see right there, something like that, Under Armour Grab Tack grip. On the outside, we have almost like a silicone rubber style uh, padding that is covering the entire glove. On the back of it right here, we have one piece of foam that's with the Under Armour logo. And the Under Armour logo is a piece of that padding as well, and it is embossed in, so that will not be coming off. The padding continues onto the thumb, and it gives you small breaks in the thumb to help for a little bit of mobility. Working our way down to the cuff on the glove, we have a conventional uh, Velcro, it's not micro Velcro, with a stitched in uh, fierce tag right there. Now this is some new technology from Under Armour. They're calling this the uh, ComFit Cuff uh, trademark and that obviously stands for like Comfort Fit. So it is a really nice, really tight cuff and it fits really well to your hand. All right, now let's get into all the categories. So the first category I'm going to talk about today is grip. Now as previously mentioned, this is using the Under Armour's new grab tack grip. Uh, I think it's very similar to the Nike's Magna Grip where it's kind of just like you need to get it completely clean once it's clean, then you're good to go again. Contrasting that to like the uh, the Cutters Gamer, which is a grip where it, uh, the, re the revitalized grip, whatever it's called, the recharge grip, where if it gets any dirt on it, it's useless. These still, you can get a little bit of dirt on it and they're still pretty good. Also, a nice thing to mention is the grip layer itself is actually a part of the design on the inside. When you're looking at like the Nike Magna Grip, they do a layer of grip which has the um, printed layer on it of their design on the inside. Then they have a layer underneath. This is all combined into one layer, so it's nice to see that the uh, decal, I guess whatever you want to call it on the side, is still holding up really good. So I really like the um, this grab tag grip opposed to like the cutter's rev tag grip, just because it works a lot better in a lot more conditions. And for that, uh, it's going to be getting a eight out of ten for grip. Okay, the next category I'm going to talk about is protection. So now, as I said. There is a good amount of grip, um, protection on the back of it with all these finger lengths. The one issue I found though with these finger lengths when they were in the testing process is there's no cutoff links in the fingers for you to bend. See how it's all, there's no cuts between knuckles. So when you're bending your fingers, it actually pulls the material back and down on your hand and it gives it a really tight feeling. I don't like the lack of mobilities in the knuckles. Some people might like that it makes it feel a little tighter. I just, I just felt it felt a little out of place and if they're going to go through the effort to make these cuts in the material to help give you a little more flexibility, I think they might as well just put one cut straight across. It might have ruined their aesthetic for the glove, but I still think it would have been helpful. So there's a good amount of padding on the back, although none of it's very thick padding. As far as linemen go, it's not going to do anything as far as when you're defending against face masks and that kind of stuff. So it's really not that useful padding for us. Maybe for running back, it might still be okay. But for protection, we're only giving it a 6.5. Okay, next we have durability. So everything on the back is completely embossed in. Nothing can come off on here. As you can see, the uh, grab tack grip on the inside is holding up really well. It's not coming off like the Nike Magna grip, which is a really good sign. Uh, the only wear and tear we've had so far through the testing for a couple months that they were, uh, since the unboxing came out, is some small amounts of stitching have started to come out, and that's after a lot of use. You can see they're really dirty right now. Now, of course, with any glove, the one thing, every single glove, has to worry about is usually the stitching on the inside of the fingers where most gloves comes apart so you could still have that issue as some of it is shown coming off here otherwise i think they're a really durable glove actually so for this i'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10 for durability okay now i already talked about some of the features that make the fit really nice on the glove uh, the one really nice one which is really snug is the under armor comfit 
cuff on the outside. It is a really good snug fit. I really like that. Otherwise, for me, it fits really good. Although another glove where I think my pinkies are just too short, where the pinky just doesn't fit as well as the rest of the fingers. So that's on me, though. I know with every single glove for some reason, and they fit that way with me. Uh, that's no issue, though. Uh, the only other fit issue I have, though, is the missing links in the fingers, which I think it needs for the knuckles. So just because that one issue, though, it still might be, some people might still like that, though, so I'm still going to give it an 8 out of 10. Okay, so the last category is breathability. Now, although this padding is really nice and thick, with the rubber or uh, silicone style of padding it is, there's no breathability aspects to this glove on the back of it. Uh, there's also no perforations on the grip on the inside, no perforations in any of the fingers in any place. So even just sitting here, my hands are actually getting pretty hot in these gloves. I think they really need to work on for the next version of these, adding some breathability in some way. If they want to stick with this style of protection, they're going to eat, need to add some breathability ports or something somewhere else on the glove to really help because your hands are going to get pretty hot in these gloves. So breathability for these, I'm only going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. Okay, now let's go over the recommended positions. Now, if you're a center and you like to use an all-purpose or a receiver glove, you don't like to go with a thicker lineman glove like the Nike Hyper Beast or anything like that, this will be a good glove for you. Uh, obviously, I think it'll be a very good glove, glove for running back because if you're getting in the dirt, the, glove, the grip still stays on really nicely. Same thing with linebacker. Uh, this would also be a really good glove for maybe a DN, depending. Uh, I think more interior linemen, you need definitely a little more padding, but if you're a really quick DN that kind of either bumps out also in an outside linebacker position, this might be a good glove for you as well. So there you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode today. Again, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. If you really like it though, please share it as that is a tremendous help to me. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, thanks. Thanks.